say is that pressure and velocity are inversely proportional. That means if you have a high pressure, you're gonna have a low velocity. If you have a low pressure, you're gonna, gonna have a high velocity. That pressure differential creates an environment in which objects can fly. And that's exactly what we're gonna explore today objects in motion using Bernoulli's principle, okay? So we've got some paper here and we've got a lawnmower. So let's go ahead and check out what happens. In three, two, one. This toilet paper is flying for the same reason airplanes fly, and that's because of Bernoulli's principle. What we have on the bottom is some low velocity air, right? So low velocity means high pressure via Bernoulli. And on the top, we... Three, two, one. pressure, our dynamic pressure, and our hydrostatic pressure is always constant. And so, if we want to keep our energy preserved, conserved, then if our velocity increases, our pressure has to decrease and vice versa. That's what's keeping this toilet paper afloat in this experiment. And watch this fly, folks! We just saw an example of Bernoulli's principle. Let's go ahead, check it out. It says that pressure and velocity are inversely related. Why does it say that? Well, let's check out the formula. So the formula for Bernoulli's principle is as follows. We start with our static pressure, P1. So this is just the pressure of our fluid, okay? Next up is the second term in the equation, and that's almost like kinetic energy. So you say that the density of the fluid over 2 times the velocity of the streamline squared and our final term is let's use orange our final term is going to be the potential energy of the fluid and that's going to be using the density of the fluid times the gravitational acceleration times its height from the baseline so if we add these three terms up together what Daniel Bernoulli said is that this sum adds up to a constant this right here is Bernoulli's principle. This always adds up to a constant. So this over here is some constant k. That means if we have a fluid, if we have a streamline, so for example, if I have some kind of a, a streamline over here, and I select two different points in this streamline, so I'm going to select point 1 and point 2, the sum of each of these three components, the static pressure, the dynamic pressure, and the hydrostatic pressure is going to be constant at point 1 and point 2. And so we can express the Bernoulli's principle as such. So we can just say P1 this explains how airplanes fly, how fluids move in pipes. This is how uh, you can measure the pressure in a fluid at two different points using this formula. That's how apartments uh, measure how much fluid to pump into an apartment. Um, that's how water towers work. Water towers work using Bernoulli's principle. They measure how much water is flowing through the pipes using this equation. Now, let's try to understand what's going on in this equation, right? What's happening here? Well, what this equation is saying is that pressure of my fluid increases. If the static pressure of the fluid increases, what has to decrease? What has to decrease is my fluid's velocity, right? And why is that? That's to help conserve the energy. The, pr the energy it takes to increase the pressure of the fluid has to be taken away from the energy it takes to speed up the fluid. That's what Bernoulli's equation says. It says, that pressure and velocity are inversely related, okay? So we can write that down. It says pressure is inversely, inversely proportional to velocity. So P is proportional to one over V. Okay, folks, that's what Bernoulli's principle says. Thanks for watching this episode, sponsored by Billion.org. We'll check you out next time. Ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equal learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO. 
and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, too can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.